for being here today. Um, we are going to be making something really cool, some things actually. Um, I'm going to show you four different kinds of wind socks lanterns that I've made. Now this is the first time I've ever attempted to make these and I wanted to do it with a, a boho flare of course but you can use your own personality to make yours if you're you it would be really cool to be a witchy theme too with this but I didn't have time to do a witchy theme uh, one so you'll have to just bear with me with the boho ones and uh, then you can make them yourself and I'd love to see them if you do um, they're fun and you making a wind sock for outside and then or making lanterns for outside making them for inside now I made one that I will be using for the outside I think so far I think only that one but I may use the other ones outside it just depends um, they are so much fun to make and very now I'm going to show you making the actual coloring the fabric painting on the fabric and to do whether you do it from scratch and paint your fabric or whether you purchase fabric or you have old pieces of uh, clothing that you want to use for this it works I mean you can do it any way you want for you and uh, I kinda did it let's see painted two made two painting the fabric made one out of just collaging kind of sewing pieces of fabric together and then made another one using uh, outdoor fabric because uh, that's the one I'm going to keep outside and I use some outdoor fabric for that one so I've done it a few different ways uh, and I still have many more ideas that I want to share so I'm really thinking of uh, probably doing a class for this because I just think it'd be fun and it'd be fun for any season, any holiday, you can make these with your, you know, specifically for Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, uh, Valentine's Day, your birthdays, you know, anything you want. You can make them patriotic. You know, they're just, just a lot of fun and really, really easy and probably could be a lot easier than what I'm going to show you. And if I was doing a class, I would be doing it the much easier way. So, uh, but I love mine. I'm happy with them, and that's what I wanted to share with you. So I hope you enjoy this video, and I'm going to be quiet now. Love you. See you inside. Okay, so here's some of the things that I used. Um, you can change this around and use what you would like, because once you see the video, you'll probably get your own ideas. But um, I used fabric. You're going to need some fabric. Now, I used an old drape that was here in the cottage, and I washed, and I've used them before on other projects, and washed it. It's great. It's like a muslin material. You can use a sheet, an old sheet, an old pillowcase, and I used wire here. Now, this is a uh, wire that you use to hang paintings up and it's like it's got three wires together so it's very heavy duty or you can use embroidery hoops or whatever else that you want that's sturdy to hold the fabric and to give your fabric uh, some structure unless you just want to make a windsock that's just kind of just the top and then the bottom just kind of flows that's good too but in this I use the wire for the top part and the bottom and then what I do is I cut the fabric after you know I paint it or you can do it before you paint which is probably better uh, cut your fabric paint it and then you'll make a sleeve at the top and a sleeve at the bottom so you can run your wire through now you can use scraps of fabric and then you know put it sew it all together and make one piece or you can use one piece and then paint on that piece and you know use whatever you want I use deco art fabric paint I use acrylic paint I wasn't worried about it being soft or washable I wanted it to actually get a little stiff so uh, I just dabbed it on and used lots of water and uh, it just you know whatever fabric you decide I'm sure whatever you have hanging around will work same thing with the paint whatever craft paint you have it will work 
You don't have to go out and buy anything special except for an embroidery hoop if you don't have it and some wire if you want it to be like mine. And here I'm showing you some painted ribbon that I had done a while ago and I'm going to use that in one of them too. Uh, so there's so many things that you can you can do. You decide which another idea which I don't do in here but you can use paper. Just make a frame out of wire and then you can glue and decoupage paper layers to it and make it even, you know, I mean, that's really cool. You can do magazines, tissue paper, napkins, whatever, you, you know, you want. And use glue. I use glue. I use uh, hot glue. I use fabric glue and tacky glue. Okay, so here I have the drape laid out with two uh, sheets of plastic. One is a plastic tablecloth and one is a plastic shower curtain that I got at the dollar store. I'm going to be using stencils in this and uh, just, you know, layering color, but I'm going to start, I wet the whole thing down with a spray bottle. You can kind of see, it's really hard to see, but I did sketch out some drawings on here. I have a bird, I have flowers, and I have a uh, an elephant on there so just so I knew where to paint around kind of but I did wet everything and the bottle I'm using you can get at Sally's Beauty Supply the spray bottle is fantastic I know I've shown it in videos where I do a furniture painting uh, it's also on Amazon I'll put the, try to remember to put all the links below I think Amazon it's a couple of dollars more I think you get a better deal if you go to Sally's but I would check it and it's just an amazing spray bottle just a reminder if you're inspired and you are enjoying this video please don't forget to like subscribe and share okay so I just keep adding color and water and just keep spreading it out it took a while but you know it was really good putting the plastic underneath because what happens is the plastic just keeps the color there and it helps keep your color on your fabric and it just it just took me a while I actually even picked up uh, some paint with glitter in it I think it was a white and it had glitter and it really pretty I wasn't intending to put glitter but it looks really nice so uh, it did it it sparkled in the background I actually wish I would have put more but it it really was it was uh, very pretty it is very pretty and then when you're cutting and you're drawing out your pictures like I did I had three down there make sure that you cut your fabric first because what happens is you'll wind up your measurements will overlap into the picture next to you and I didn't realize that uh, and so I had to you'll see I had to kind of patch some of it to make it as wide as I needed it because the bird was right there and so I'm just telling you just a little um, heads up when you're doing a large piece make sure you spread it out measure where you're going to cut so this way your your pictures don't overlap into the next one unless you want like the birds and the flowers I wanted together so that was fine but the elephant I wanted to keep it separate so I had to do some um, patching <laughs> of some of the fabric but now I know next time I will cut my fabric first then paint on it and this way you don't have to worry you know it's just easier that way okay so what happened was when I cut the material I cut it too short well not that I cut it too short I couldn't cut it uh, any any longer any wider because I had this that needs to stay together so I just cut a piece off of the edge of here and I just sewed it on here jewels and stuff to her and make her the center piece you know since I really wanted I gotta finish her tail see I kind of went over everything with the uh, stencils because then I figured once I come in here and kind of do detail and it'll fall into place but I wanted to have all kinds of designs on her I may even add some more uh, now that I have a cut I can do a better job of just paying attention to each piece 
where before I was just kind of laying it all out and kind of just going crazy with it. And I love the way uh, that these came out. Now what, what I did was I added the paint with white. So when you add it with the white, it gives it that faded kind of, it just really, with the blue, dark blue background, and that's why I had wanted the darker background, because I wanted these all to pop out. So I just went in with stencil, more stencil color, more, you know, the gold and and just added more layers of colors and, you know, just kept doing it until I was satisfied. So I didn't I didn't want to give up. And you can see I'm adding the gold there. It just it just looked really nice once it was done and all those colors and all those layers of the stencils uh, just really made this just like a jewel kind of looking you know I'm so um, and I only used the same four I think it was four stencils that I had gotten in a package and those stencils I had actually bought to do another project but um, they actually worked out great for this one okay so I started using uh, color pencil and then also markers and it just wasn't going right so I had to start using acrylics go back to acrylics I was going to use the oil pastels and chalk pastels but I thought you know that's too much and then you know that'll come off while I'm trying to sew it'll get on me so I just thought you know I'm gonna just stick with the acrylics so that's what I wind up doing going back to the acrylics that I started I was like painting a little like rug or saddle whatever going over and I did little wisps coming out in different colors and then I thought well you know how about if I bead that and I did a video on it and I cannot find it but what I did was I took uh, fishing wire and then added all the beads to that and then I tied each end and then I put the hot glue down uh, and then just Put the beads down around it so this way none of the beads would fall off and I didn't have to do it one bead at a time they were all on a strand so it worked out really easy that way um, to put the beads and the beads make a difference you'll see the difference okay so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this um, Actually, no, sorry, I'm not going to cut it. I'm going to fold it under and make my bottom little, uh, like a sleeve for my wire to go through. So I'm trying to try and do it as straight as I can. Same thing to the top. So this way my wire can go through and then, you know, make sure you cut it. Uh, these are the ones that are already cut. So make sure you cut it to the size that you want and make sure that your fabric can go around it. So, and um, this can go in. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do right now. I think 
I'm going to just do that and then I will, once I get that sewn or you can glue it with fabric glue, I'm going to uh, put the tassels on. But when you're putting the tassels on, if you're going to sew it, make sure you don't sew your little sleeve shut. So make sure that you're going to leave room for your wire to go through. So if you're going to sew it, sew it to the very bottom edge of your, let's see, am I getting that in there? Yeah. So, okay. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take it over to the sewing machine and I'm going to sew mine. So, but you can definitely do it with fabric glue if you're not a sewer or you don't have a sewing machine or so I'm going to just tape uh, not tape this but I'm going to pin it and then sew it and I will be okay so I put this chain together so let's see put these beads so what I'm going to do is I'm not going to put these on until I get this all done because otherwise I'll it'll just be just too heavy I think to work with so I think once I get it on this then I'll hot glue it all around but I'm really liking that you know I have the little moons in here and um, all kinds of the little barrels the silver barrels so I'll show you that it close so you can see Hopefully you can see that. Took me forever, you know. So, um, and I have to, you know, I love having the little moons hanging. So that'll look nice. And then I think I'm going to put that at the top. And I don't know what I'm going to put at the bottom. Um, I mean, it probably would look good at the bottom too. But do I want to do another strand? I don't know. I don't know. So I'll see uh, if I get really inspired. Maybe I'll just do another strand for down there. But I just think this is going to be so cool, you know, to add in here. So, you know, I love the beads. And we want to make this boho, right? We want it to look like this is a gypsy place. And it is. This is where gypsies live to do. Is this the one I'm sewing? No, this is the one I didn't want to sew. If I'm not, hold on. This is the one I didn't want to sew. I wanted to sew the bottom. The top, I don't I think I have enough room to sew. So the bottom, you know what? I don't even need to, I really don't. I don't need to sew these things on. They're, they're not going to go anywhere. You know, the fabric glue is pretty, pretty good. So let's see. Okay. So now this is pretty sharp and I don't know how to get it you know I guess I could put some wax on it hmm how about I melt some wax and put it on because I don't have like a rubber cap I'm thinking if I had a little rubber cap to stick on it um, maybe my husband does because you know when you're pulling a pin through you put it through and you have the head of the pin so it's kind of smooth but this wire I mean it's rough and if I turn I could turn it under I could probably turn it under let me see if I can turn it under see if that'll um, help because it's so sharp you know there's like these wires have like three pieces to them so they're not it's not just like one piece of wire. It's three pieces together. It's, I mean, you may have something better. You know, that's in a one piece thing. But let's see. Okay, so I turn that over. And if you have a better way to do this, please let me know. But I turn that over. Okay, so it's kind of rounded now at the edge, okay? Let's see if I can get it in here. Because I want to get an idea of this. Alright, so I'm just going to pull it through. 
Now remember, you can make these any size that you want. This is not going. Come on. What's your problem? It's right on the seam here and it's having a hard time. Okay. Okay. So I'm just pushing the wire through and if you had a wooden um, embroidery hoop, you wouldn't be doing this. You would probably be gluing your fabric around it. Okay, it's like, this is like putting on curtains, you know, you have to go put your curtain rod Just getting, just want to look and see what it looks like. I'm not sewing the sides yet, so just getting an idea. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Something went. Okay, so I've got my, so it's going to be a little bit longer, a little bit wider. So you kind of, you can adjust it before you cut your wire to the exact, you know. Okay, that looks pretty. See that? So now what I have to do is I have to um, sew my sides together. And remember, you want to leave. Do not sew this part part here of your sleeve where your wire has to go through. And then you can kind of see how that looks. Figure out your your size. Stretch it. You know, pull it. Whatever. And then and then cut it so you don't have all that wire to run through. I'm going to cut it and leave extra, but I won't have all that other stuff. So I'm just going to cut it there, okay? And then so even if I have to pull some in, like put some into the other side to kind of, that's what I did with the other one. I kind of put them in together. Okay. Okay, so now I sewed this. Now remember, and I should have went over that, but I'm going to take the other one and show you. You need to put your right sides together and then pin and make your make your little hem or whatever you want to call that your little you're going to sew because you see like this is not even so if you want you know if you want everything even then just trim your bottom or you know when you're making your uh, I, I would trim it first and then make my little um, sleeve but then so this way it lines up so that is what you want to do. So you want to sew or glue or whatever you're going to do. You want to do the right sides together because then you're going to turn it inside out and it will be like this. And what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to sew this. Now I have two seams because remember I had sewn an extra piece. But this is what I've left. So this way now I can get my wherever you are. I can get my wire in there still because I've left that opening there so I can take my wire and go in here. Okay, so this is the outside um, fabric. Okay, so what I thought with this is I'm going to take my some of my uh, embroidered ribbon that I sell and put that 
on here. So that, I think that is what I'm going to do. Because these are going to go definitely outside, but see those colors because I had done one that uh, had this as the, as the um, pouch. And I have this I can use. So what I think I'm going to do is even know if I need to fold it over. I don't know. I think there's something. Um, now this is going to go outside, so I don't know, you know, how much. I probably won't keep it out if the weather's bad, so um, it's not like they're going to be out in bad weather, but I like, I kind of like that. So I have all that embroidered ribbon, and then some of this trim. So I'm going to glue that down and then I'm going to do something to the bottom because the bottom I'm going to just hang a lot of ribbon. Because these are going to go outside, um, so they're going to have a lot of ribbon hanging from the bottom. Um, so I think that's what I'm going to do with this. This is going to be pretty simple. I mean, just I'm leaving the colors, you know, I'm not painting it. I'm not doing anything to it. I'm just leaving it this way and just adding some fun trim and then some uh, ribbon. Okay. I just, I just want this to be kind of showy outside so that you can see it, you know, and with these colors, it's going to be really nice. So, um, that's it. That's what I'm going to do. And then I'll be right back. Okay, I absolutely love this one. I put ribbons and lace. And I um, was going to put another wire in the center of this one. But then I, I kind of didn't like the way it was. Uh, and I used painted ribbon that I made handmade. I used around it. And then I added the lace and everything and um it just it, i just love this one too so and uh just some cord at the top colored cords uh hemp cord and it's just really cool okay sorry about that um so all i did was make knots with the fiber took them bunches of them together but before i did that i had laid down uh glued down some uh, lace and ribbons. I don't have a lot. I have a lot of lace, but I don't have a lot of ribbon. So, and then I put some of the um, sorry ribbon in there and uh, just kind of, but you could notice that I put these on the outside and I put the other ones that I started with on the inside because I wanted these to kind of stand out here. So I, I still have to put some more but I just figured I'd let you see. It looks really cool. I don't know if I'm going to light this one up but I do love it and uh, you know you can always add to it once it's hanging you can get a good idea and then if you want to add more you can so um, and I think I will especially I wanted to do some um, my nails have glue all over them I wanted to do some beads in the middle of the flowers you know and that kind of thing so I still may do that but I'm really loving this one too so I hope you enjoy this I hope I am inspiring and I like that you make your own fabric and you do your own designs, you know. I think this was a lot of fun and so colorful, so. Well, here she is, and I put some twinkle lights in there. I've got the battery pack just kind of double-sided taped to the side of it. I'll do a better job, but I just wanted to see what it would look like uh, lit up, and I really like this one lit up, and I think I'm going to take it down, and I'm going to rearrange it and do a better job with the light. So I don't know, maybe you guys can come up with something better than that but the double-sided tape seems to work and these lights have a little remote control so I don't have to keep going in there to turn it on and off so I really like it I like the lights and now I'm going to show you it with the lights out and you can see it's a little 
dark so for you but when you're actually here you can see more of the elephant and everything it just shows up really dark in the camera but um, and there's those little LED lights you can also put in if you don't want twinkles I love these lights they are so sweet and just very delicate and I have them also on my flower arrangement in here my bouquet that I have on my sideboard that I had painted and I just love the way they light up and yeah and you can do it where they go crazy like or you could do a slow twinkle or you don't even have to twinkle but I think it's so pretty I love it and here's my sweet little girl elephant. She has flowers in her hair. So she's kind of like a boho hippie uh, elephant. And she's just sweet. And she's got beads and everything. She's just ready. She's all dressed up and ready to go. huh? And then I'm showing you the uh, one that I put outside. I had a little bit of a breeze. And it kind of swayed a little bit. But... Um, Next time, I would make it not so long. I think I made it a little bit too long, but it's done, and I love it. And I plan on making more anyway, so I'm just going to enjoy it. This one I'm going to call my little memory. A windsock, lantern, whatever. I'm thinking I may put a light in it. But it's got little things on it that remind me of good times and the love that I share with my family and some of the little items that my kids have given me over the years, earrings, pins, um, charms, all kinds of things. And I was thinking of even putting little journals like attached with some sayings in it and some poetry that I love and, you know, anything that sparks joy in me and just keep it hanging in here and then maybe putting some little twinkle lights in it just to enjoy it in the evening too but just an idea if you um, like to keep mementos around maybe you'd like to do something like this well I hope you felt the love and you are inspired and please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I love you all and I will see you the next time keep creating having fun and share <music>